Hi beautiful girls, Temi here, T-E-M-I. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if this is your first time. Thank you for joining us. I hope your time here would be a pleasant one. <laughs> so today I'm just going to be doing just a full face, get ready with me, using new products from the drugstore. I have um, a bunch here. So the first product here is a Revlon Prime Plus. It's a primer. It's supposed to be a primer. It says makeup plus skincare primer complex infused with artichoke extract salicylic sal salicylic acid aha this version i have is mattifying and pore reducing this actually comes in um three forms they have the mattifying and pore reducing one and then they have the perfecting and smoothing and then the brightening and skin tone perfecting one so of course because i have um a little bit of large pores here you know my pores are like hey we're here see us <laughs> and then I, I get oily on my t-zone so i pick the mattifying and pore reducing one let's see what it looks like all right it's like a white it's a white substance see that it doesn't really have a smile so um the primer doesn't feel like anything actually it doesn't feel creamy but you know what I do feel that it did modify my face though. Like my face looks like I have like a, it feels dry. Not drying as in tight feeling, but it feels dry. Let's hope this works. I'll do a wear test at the end of the day. I always do my brow first. So I'm going into this L'Oreal Paris brow definer. I think this is new, but I could be wrong. It's new to me anyway. It's a brow stylist definer. The shade I have is in soft black. Brows have overgrown, as I'm sure all our brows have overgrown. <laughs> so, I'm not really particular about them looking very perfect, you know. As long as they look decent, that's good. <laughs> this is not bad. This is going on nicely. That was very easy, actually. This has to be the quickest brow I have ever done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this was pretty... The pencil is not too creamy, but it's also not, like, stiff, where I have to, like, put a lot of pressure to get it to... the uh, to get the color pair from my eyelid. I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. What? This might knock my, um... My, what's it called? NYX, um, micro brow pencil in my... I might knock that out of the park. All right, so brow is done. Let's do a little bit of concealing action on the brow. So I'm going to be using this um, Maybelline Full Coverage Concealer. Super Stay Full Coverage Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep Bronze. I'm using this um, Remo Magnifies Eye Primer. It's new to me. I haven't used it before. I think I started seeing it at the drugstore towards the end of last year and I picked it up. Easy to apply, prevents smudging and fading. It's suitable for all eyeshadows, is not oily, quick drying and mess free. Dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested. If that's important to you. Alright, so it's just. Uh, it's like a cream shade. We are off to a good start. Everything is looking good so far. Wow, it already dried, dried down on this eye. This eye is still a bit tacky, but on this eye, it is already dry. So, the Maybelline concealer up to 24 hour wear, waterproof, transfer resistance, smudge, res smudge resistance, and lasting transformation. Today that I'm filming, it's actually my son's birthday. Unfortunately, we can't do anything. But you know what? It's not gonna stop me. <laughs> He's gonna have a Zoom birthday party today. <laughs> I just in this kind of situations, I believe you gotta find ways to just make things work for you. You know, rather than brooding and be like, oh, you know, I'm so sad that my son cannot have his second year birthday. You know, find a way to make it 
memorable for him and for our family. So my sisters were supposed to come, but obviously they came for me. So, but we'll still gather, we'll you know do a little something online. Thank God for the internet, right? <laughs> and videos and stuff like that. So I just put that concealer all over my eyelid just to cancel the discoloration on my eyelid. Okay, this concealer blends nicely. It looks very close to my skin tone, so I don't know how that would look with highlighting, but we'll still, we'll still work with it. Alright, I have um, two eyeshadows here. It's the Milani Most Wanted, Milani Most Wanted Eyeshadow Palette. So I have um, Jewel, Jewel Iced, like a Jewel Tone kind of shade. And then I have, um, what's it called? Partner in Crime. This is all matte, neutral. Okay. I'm gonna start with this color right here. Let's just put that all over the face, see how that works for us. We've been waiting for a love like this, my love. Very, very light shade, very, but you know, it's, a, it's actually not a bad transition for my skin tone. I'm gonna use the blue, these two colors, this one and the blue. And then maybe we use this shiny one in the inner corner. The shades look like they have shimmer, but when I apply it, it's coming across matte. I'm just going and um, blending out the edges. Okay, as I'm blending it, the color is like softening. It's, it's blended really, really nicely, but the color is also getting softer and softer as I blend it going with the blue shade now again that one too looks like it has shimmer but it's not appearing like that on my lid you are just like one spring day so what do you guys think eyeliner so i'm using this l'oreal flash cut eyeliner by infallible so this eyeliner i don't know if you guys see right here it has a stencil there we go how do you do this? How do you do this? I don't necessarily need to do it. Wait, wait, no, Timmy. Timmy, what is he doing? What are you doing, Timmy? How do I do this? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I guess you position it, draw the line, and then connect. It's a liner pen. See that? Yeah. All right. Wish me luck, guys. So I'm gonna do the wing first and then we'll connect, okay? Make it okay, so melt your heart. Okay, take it out. Oh! I can do better than that! And then, I guess you connect it. The pen itself is not bad though. My wing looks wobbly. Okay, we fixed it. It looks a little better. We're doing, we, I guess we're doing a straight line today. Then let's try and see if we can make it equal on the side. Position itself is even harder than just perfect, just learning to perfect your wing yourself. <laughs> okay, still looks crooked. I guess if you if you're struggling with doing wing, I guess this might be fine. <laughs> For someone like me that doesn't struggle with wing like that, I'd rather just do my wing how I know. I like the pen. It's it's fine and it's black. So we'll see how we wear it throughout the day. But the stencil part, guys, I don't know. Try it out if you struggle with wing liner. Try it out. But if you're someone that you don't struggle with wing liner. You're better off just doing your wing liner how you know how to do it. Let's put on mascara. So I got this Maybelline Snap Scar. It's a um, peach black. It says easy on, easy off mascara. On in a snap. Smooth, clump free volume. Off in a snap. Last all day. This is what the wand looks like. It's one of those cuffed wands. <laughs> Because I'm empty in my heart to you. 
I see a little bit of clumps, but not like anything unbearable. And it was quite easy to use. <laughs> Mascara is very difficult to show, but it, my lashes look really nice. They look nice and flared out, oh, volumized. All right, guys. So let's go in with foundation. I'm gonna be using the Dream Radiant foundation from Maybelline it's a hydrating foundation it has hyaluronic acid and collagen I have the shade in cocoa 130 gives up to 12 hours of continuous hydration visibly improves the look of skin medium coverage with radiant finish it doesn't clog pores and is dermatologist tested oh he has a pump yes <laughs> says medium coverage so I might need a little more this looks like it would match, yeah, no? Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is medium coverage. It doesn't seem like I can build it up too much. I, I don't want to cake it on. I'll just go in with the concealer because I can still see, I don't know if you guys can still see a bit of my um, discoloration showing through on my cheeks right there a little bit of it on my forehead so this is medium coverage let's go in with concealer to just cover up the darkness under my eyes i like i don't think this concealer is going to do much highlighting but oh well. good thing this concealer is on um, full coverage so all that um, especially i don't put a lot of um, foundation under my eyes so all the um darkness under my eyes let's hope that this concealer covers it Okay guys, this concealer is nice. <laughs> I'm, I like this concealer. It doesn't look cakey under my eyes. Blends out really nicely and I actually like that. I like the shade. It's not too light, but it's not like my skin tone either. Do you guys see that? Oh, I like that. And it's the right undertone too. I like this concealer. Yeah. We'll see how we do those throughout the day, but so far, I like it. And I didn't put a lot. So I guess the claim of full coverage, yeah, it leads up to that thing. But it blends out like a dream. It doesn't feel um, like with those concealers that are dr that drags as you are blending it. Yeah, this one doesn't feel like that. Guys. Guys, I almost don't want to say anything. Oh, this looks nice. What do you guys think? This looks really nice. Even with the foundation not being like full coverage. Like it still looks like my skin. Yes, I'm loving this. Alright, um, we're gonna be using a translucent banana powder from Milani. So I usually don't use banana powder, but there's a first time for everything. Actually, before I do that, let me use my cream blush. Before I set anything, so the cream blush I'm gonna be using today is uh, the Maybelline Cheek Heat Cream Blush in Fuchsia. It's a very, very creamy almost oily formula you would think that it would appear very very punchy on the cheeks but it's very soft and i actually i don't mind that at all. and it's giving me kind of like a wet look on my cheeks so now let's go into setting our face it actually doesn't look like a um, yellow banana it looks more like a pudding kind color you guys notice any difference I mean, it, it does. It brightens up my eye. Yeah, it brightens up my eye. I, I like that it's not like yellow, yellow. I like, actually like that. Because I'm very weary of using yellow powder on my face because um, my undertone is not yellow. I had to go and do my meeting real quick. I was gone for about one hour, so I'm gonna check my under eye see if. Because remember, I said it with the powder already, but I didn't set the rest of my face. So let's see if that concealer is doing anything crazy in an hour. I see a little bit of settling in my lines under my eyes, but that's to be expected. The lines under my eyes, they are there. 
there's nothing anybody can do about it okay i'm gonna use the same milani powder to set my whole face that blush is very very subtle it's very very i thought it would be like more punchy but it's very very subtle like i almost cannot even see it anymore maybe i didn't put enough let's put a little bit more of that blush do you guys see it a little bit more now? Yeah, I see it more now. Alright, I'm gonna go in with this really bright shade right here. It looks shiny. Let's hope it's shiny and not disappointing like the other ones. Okay, this one is shiny, so that's good. Okay, I like that. Yeah, the other shades like the bu the burgundy color and the blue, they're pretty much matte. I mean, it's a it's a pretty look. It's a pretty look. I'm not mad at the palette. It's just the way that it looks like really really bright in the pan is not like translating like that on my eye. Oh, I got this NYX um, powder. It's the No Filter Finishing Powder. It looks like this from NYX, and the shade I have is Deep Golden. So it's supposed to be a powder that eliminates the need for filter on your pictures. Right. <laughs> right. That is just a marketing gimmick, man. Please. Ain't no powder or makeup is gonna make your face so um smooth that you don't need any type of filter. Even though I'm not a fan of like crazy filters anyway. I'm just gonna dust this lightly all over my face show you guys how it looks you know what this kind of reminds me of mac Min mac mineralized skin finish powder so this is a finishing powder this um loose powder is a setting powder so this is just to finish the whole look it doesn't help with like any like magnification or anything like that i'm thinking this just helps kind of blow um the skin although i'm not seeing any blurriness i'm not seeing any blur blur blurification blurification blurcity i'm not seeing anything like that i don't know what this powder does i don't know what it did do you guys see a difference i don't <laughs> i have two products from Revlon. it's the prismatic highlighter this is in the shade Twilight Gleam and then the Prismatic Bronzer uh, in the shade Sun Kissed Beam. Honestly, they both look like um, highlighters to me. But I'm going to use the bronzer as a bronzer and then we'll see. I hope I don't regret this. So this is the highlighter and this is the bronzer. That's what they look like. The bronzer, I'm going to try and swatch it. It's a very, very light. Oh, it looks more like a subtle highlight to me than a bronzer. But we'll use it. It's not going to give me any color. I have a feeling it's just going to give me a little bit of a satin glow. Although I can't see the satin glow though. Nothing. <laughs> that was very underwhelming. <laughs> Highlight on the other hand. Let me swatch it. Oh, yes. It's it's pretty, but it's more of those kind of glitter highlights. Not like yeah, it's like glitter particles instead of like a sheen. I don't usually like this kind of highlights. That is more of like a glitter on your skin. I'm gonna put that plum shade under my eye. You are just like one spring day. So we have three more items. So the first one is a brow gel. This is from Maybelline Fast Brow Sculpt. It's a very skinny brush. It's a bit small, small brush, not too fat, not too skinny. I can feel it um, setting in my brows. 
so I can feel it get um, stiff on my brows. The other one that I use, I can't feel that stiffness. I don't know how I feel about that stiffness. Yeah, I don't necessarily like the feeling of that stiff um, stiffness. If it keeps my brow, my unruly brows, if it keeps them looking a bit groomed, I would suck up that stiffness. All right, so the final thing is um, this um, L'Oreal lip crayon. Yeah, it's a, it's a matte lip crayon. So it's a full coverage, lasting wear matte color in just one swipe. So it's available in 18 shades. So to me, that seems like it's similar to the um, Maybelline matte um, crayons that I tested, that I swatched and reviewed last year. I would um, link the video if you guys are interested. I'm going to do a review and a swatch of this um, product as well. So the two shades I have are Cherific and um, No Fig Deal. So I'm going to use Cherific, which is the darker shade on the outer part of my lips. Big deal on the center. The two colors are very, very similar. That cream blush left the stain. You guys see that? So, I mean, that tells me that it would last. I thought that the Cherific, uh, which is the one on the bottom, I thought that would be much darker than this one. It is darker, but it's not as dark as I thought it would be. I mean, so you guys see what it looks like in here? It looks like it's very, very dark compared to this one. But as you can see, the difference in depth is not a lot. It's comfortable, you know, it's comfortable on the lips. That's the finished look, guys. I'm not gonna use setting spray or anything. Let me brush my hair a little bit. Try to look a little bit more presentable. That's the finished look, guys. What do you guys think? So I'll do a check-in and um, you know let you guys know how this face wore. This is um, around 11 in the morning that I finished this makeup. So like a check-in midday and then the end of the day just to show you guys how everything is wearing. Especially this um, hydrating or radiant um, foundation on my oily skin. You see how all that is holding up. But thank you so much for joining me guys. And um, if you have any of these products, what's your experience with any of it? From my experience, just from first impressions, the ones that I would say I don't really care much for, that I would be, I wouldn't, I, I'm not too excited to use it again, would be the Revlon bronzer and the highlighter. Like I said, the highlighter, it's a bit more glittery than I like. I like a more, um, I, I like those highlighters that, that gives more of a sheen a glow rather than a glitter this one gives a glitter so i don't i don't care for that too much the other products that it's not that i don't care for it but i'm just kind of a little bit disappointed would be the eyeshadow it's soft it blends nicely but the color payoff is not as like in your face as i expected it to be maybe I, maybe I, my expectations are a little bit too high because i mean you can see the color on my eye but it's just not as punchy as I thought it would be. But I'm, I'm actually not um, upset that I bought it. I like I like the product. Actually, I really like it. And I think for someone that maybe you just want um, a, a basic eyeshadow and something that you can just have for color, I think this too will be a great choice, you know, to pick up. If you're not too worried about it being like, like bold color in your face, this, this, this will be good. You know? And they are $10.99 each. So they're not too expensive, but they're not cheap either because it's only six um, pack. So that's what I think about this. Ones. The lipsticks, you know, uh, it's okay. We'll see how we wear it. I actually really like the foundation. Uh, not the foundation, the concealer. I really enjoyed the concealer. It was easy to blend. It doesn't look cakey, even though it's full coverage. It's not cakey on my under eye. And I have fine lines on my under eye and it's not doing anything too crazy than usual on my under eye. And I love the shade that I picked. I'm glad I picked this shade. I, it, I think it's perfect for my skin tone and my undertone. The foundation, it's medium coverage. 
I'm not mad at it that it's medium coverage, but I'm not like gung ho and you know excited about it either. But it's also radiant, so it's not necessarily geared towards my oily skin. But I've been kind of embracing more radiant foundation lately, so it's okay, it's fine, you know. Um, I think the things that I would say that I really really enjoyed the most would be the concealer and the mascara even though I was side eyeing this mascara but it was quite easy to apply very very easy and gave me um, volume so those two products would be my top my top 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 and then my least favorite of course would be the Revlon so, everything else is pretty much in the middle oh the other thing that I really enjoyed is the Milani powder um, you know it, it, the banana scared me off a little bit but I'm glad I got it because it's not like yellow, it's not bright yellow powder. So it's five o'clock right now, so about six hours. I just ate lunch, so my lips <laughs> a little oily. Uh, but this is what we're working with. The foundation actually still looks pretty decent, apart from you know, I'm a little oily, <laughs> but the foundation still looks pretty good. Primer, I don't know about keeping me matte you know but at least the foundation is not rubbing off so I'm, I'm 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 perfectly good with that and to be honest this is what i get with most of my foundations the only foundations that that the only foundation that doesn't do this on me it's my revlon color stay that my oil doesn't like come out as much but most other foundations you can visibly see my oils after a few hours my son is missing his dad anyway so this is what we're working with i'll check in again i'll check it again at the end of the night <laughs> all right so i just wanted to blot real quick so that we can see if that does anything what the tissue looks like you know i expected to transfer but I'm going to up close and personal. I mean, I don't see much wear off of the foundation itself. My forehead. Foundation still looks pretty decent, actually. See you guys later. So here's my last check in of the day. Foundation is pretty much <laughs> wear enough. I, yeah, talked and chewed away all the lipstick so that's completely gone now but it's about 10 p.m so i mean i can still see traces of the foundation but in places where i well, like resting on my face you know of course it's not it's no longer there <laughs> like right but that's to be expected but the eyeshadow is fading i have one eyeshadow that 12 hour wear and it's still like but as you can see this is I showed it on this eye and I don't remember like rubbing rubbing my eye. But um that liner though that liner it's still staying strong. I don't think maybe a little bit of um fading right at this corner where my eye gets oily. But apart from that it's looking very still sharp, still black. That eyeliner is the one. You'll hear my son. The boy that he doesn't sleep. His mates are already asleep. My son is 10 p.m. It's playtime. Anyway, so I like the foundation. The primer too, I think it did a good job. I, know, I don't think I would depend on it to like keep me matte matte. But then again, it's with I used it with a radiant foundation. So you know, I'm sure that affected the way it worked. I'm sure if I pair it with my um, Revlon Color Stay foundation, you know, I I'm I'm I'm, I'm guessing that those two combination would be really really good together, and I might even try it with it someday. If I do, I would um, make a note um, in the comment section just to update you guys sometime in the future. All right, good night. So thank you so much for watching guys and like i said if you've tried any of these products what do you think about them in the comment section below i'm really interested to know what you guys think about this palette if you've, if you've tried it before you know what are your um 
how's your experience with it? Because maybe I'm just being overly critical of it. Because I'm telling you, see the blue and the plum on my eye. But maybe I'm just being too critical. Thank you for watching, guys, and um, I'll see you guys next week.